All right, so I'm going to talk about Howie Lockhart. He was a uh, goaltender that played early part of the century, well, the 1900s. So I call this one a story full of holes, and I'll get into the holes aspect in a few minutes. Uh, this is a picture of Howie right here. This is with the 1921-22 uh, Hamilton Tigers. So, uh, next one. So these are some of his vital statistics. Um, his name was Howard Bond Lockhart. Uh, he was born on April 22nd, 1896 in Toronto. Uh, his uh, test taste papers say he was born in 97. I don't know how he got that wrong, but everything, including his birth certificate, all say 96. Uh, his father was named John, and his mother was Elizabeth Juan. So that's how he got his middle name. Took his uh, mother's maiden name. Married uh, Ellen, Ella McKee in, in uh, 1924. He had a son, John. And so John was a goaltender in juniors for the uh, Toronto Marlboros and a few other senior teams. He was also 6-1 in the 1953-54 World Championship, eight pool, where he posted a six and one record with the 1.8 goals against average. He was voted the goal, best goaltender of the tournament. So um, he must have taught his son well, though. His son never played pro hockey. Um, if we look at the attestation papers on the back, it says he's 5'8, his chest size was 34 inches. He could expand to two inches, well, to 36. <laughs> Complexion was fair, eyes blue, uh, hair is dark, and he was a Methodist. So uh, I brought up about the height because uh, he's average, and we're going to see. I think he was a pretty average goaltender. Next one. So the holes. So I'm not quite sure where he got the holes nickname, uh, but we use it. This is from our database. You can see holes. I forgot where I got this one, but again, there's holes there. So. Um, I said, not quite sure where we get it, but we're going to look at it a little bit more. Next one, please. So before turning pro, we put the 1911-1912 uh, season for the uh, North Bay Juniors. The following season, he played for the seniors in the North Ontario Senior Hockey Association. But I'm, I'm hoping you can see these. So the, the first line here is his regular season, he played eight games, he was five and three, uh, and he had a 4.5 goals against average. Uh, didn't do too good in the playoffs. He was one and one, and he had goals against average of eight. So that's not very good. Uh, so they must have obviously played better in the first game because he won it. Uh, I tried to figure out how many goals he actually gave up and I'm not quite sure. <laughs> so the the 1912 and 13 season, we don't have a lot of statistics. So to, for a comparison, the only other goal statistic I could find was uh, Alex Renault. And he played for the Sturgeon Falls uh, team, and he had a uh, record of 3-3-1 three, three and, and a 3.62. So he was a little bit better. And again, that was the only one. Um, the following season, he played for the North Bay Intermediates in the International League. All right, next one. So there's, in our database, there's no statistics for 13-14. Um, but we know he plays. This is a uh, register, uh, list of players, and Lockhart is always somewhere in there. I can't even see this. But anyway, he plays for that team. <coughs> As I mentioned, um, we have nothing for the 14, 15, and 15, 16 seasons. So I'm not sure if he's playing or not, but uh, I went through a number of uh, different uh, online sites like newspaper.com, genealogy.com, and uh, couldn't find anything. All right, next one. So he enters the military service. He's part of the uh, 228th Battalion. Um, and he's called overseas on February 10th, 1917. Mm -hmm. um, so here's his record. Well, we have his record, and then we have the three years of military service where he's not playing. Um, 
He plays seven games. He's seven and five during that time, and he has a goals against average of 5.75, which is not very good. In reality, his record is, if you look at it, it should be uh, six, six, zero. Uh, so again, he played a game. He was considered the week eligible. So he actually gets a win for a zero to eight loss. So um, he gets a win, but didn't play very well. And um, so they did, they did pretty good in this. Not great, but they were all right. Oh, that's a little better. Thank you. Um, so if we go to the next one, as I mentioned, he's six and six, not for the uh, being ineligible playing. And he's basically average. So he, he has a winning percentage again. If you look at six and six, he's 500. Um, but they credit him for uh, 583. He has a goal against the average of 575. And it's about two thirds of um, goals against higher. Because the average for the league is, I should have kept it, he's bigger. 5.8. So he's basically averaging while he's playing for the 228. Okay, the next one. So after he returns home from military service, uh, he plays three seasons. He plays for the uh, St. Pat's. Uh, he gets put onto the uh, Quebec team and plays one game there. And then he plays full seasons for the Hamilton Tigers for two seasons. And so what this clipping right here is this, um, the St. Pat's were, I'm sorry, Hamilton was trying to uh, get a goaltender on loan because Blackhart is hurt and they won't give uh, Hamilton a goaltender. So that would be the, I'm sorry, that'd be the Ottawa team on it. So they end up, he has to play. Um, he plays pretty good. The Senators beat him four to two, and then he plays the Canadians uh, three to two. He loses that one. And in this, the other headline over there, it basically says, um, crippled Hamilton goalkeeper keeps auto attack at bay. So supposedly he's hurt, but he's playing pretty good. Actually, he's playing a little bit better than he normally does. All right, so on to the next. So this is another comparison. He's below average, but I don't think he's terrible. So in the first season, uh, he's at 571. So he's actually a little bit better than 500. His goals against was 5.84, where the league average was 477. So he's given up about a goal a game more than the average guys are. Uh, he is on the um, Toronto team, and the Toronto team's not really that great. Um, the two uh, the goaltenders play a little bit better. When he goes on to Quebec, I mean, Quebec was just awful that year. So, and he's better than uh, both of their goaltenders. Uh, if we follow down to the next one, he's playing for Hamilton. He's uh, four and 18. I'm sorry, six and 18. Not very good there. He has a 5.45 goals against average, and it's one and a quarter goals more than the rest of them are. <laughs> then he plays again, and now with the team's even worse. Well, they're about the same. Six and 17, he last in the league, the goals against. He's at 439, and the average is 386. So he's about a half a goal. So again, He's below average, but I don't think he's terrible. Let me see. So when he was playing for Quebec that year, they lost seven to two to the St. Pats. And so that was, uh, like I said, that really didn't help inflate his numbers. Um, in 1920-21, he lost by scores of 10 to three, 10 to five, 13 to six, and 12 and five. So that's 35%, I mean, 34% of the goals he gave up all season were in those four games. So, uh, you know, it's not all the goaltenders, we all know. <laughs> You're giving up. All right, so the next one. 
All right. So these are what I call the call call up years. And apparently it doesn't play in 2020, uh, 22, 23. And I couldn't find anything in those years for with Howie Lockhart playing. He plays just three games in the next two seasons. Um, and I don't think he's getting a lot of respect. So the Boston Herald, and he's playing for the uh, Bruins at the time, they call him Joe Lockhart. They don't know his name. Um, the final, he didn't play too bad. He, um, in his first game, uh, he played the Canadians. They lost three to one, and Lockhart had 48 saves. Um, he might have been called Joe because there was a famous boxer at the time, uh, Joe Lockhart. I did find another reference to him in the, a Boston paper, and I, I didn't record which the pa paper of the day, but they called him Gene Lockhart. Gene Lockhart was a movie star at the time. So apparently they weren't sure who they were playing. Uh, one of the Boston newspapers, they do say Lockhart as Sterling as Stewart himself. So Doc Stewart was the Bruins' regular goaltender at the time. And uh, this was in reference to the uh, three to one game. So he, he played pretty good in that year. Uh, when he played for Toronto, uh, the previous season, 23, 24, played the one game and he gave up five goals. Uh, when he was in Boston, he played two games and gave up five, point, five goals per game. All right, next. So this is a comparison. I don't know if it can really be fair for being judged on three games, but uh, the 23-24 season, uh, EA up 2.3 goals, uh, more goals a game. The, uh, the average was uh, 2.61. You can see there's some pretty good uh, goaltenders in there. There's their kind of their Forbes. Following season with Boston, I mean, if you look at the bottom here, these are all Boston goalies. <laughs> so that was the that was their first year in the NHL. And we all know they I think it was six and twenty-four was their record. So they had a pretty poor team at the time. And uh, so I don't, I'm not sure how, how you compare them on that one. Okay, the next one. So apparently he doesn't play in 2025, 20, 26. I could find no record of him actually playing. Um, I put a question mark because we're going to see in the next slide. So he returns to the Canadian Professional Hockey League, plays for the Hamilton Tigers in it. He, he's 9-9-1, nine, nine the 2.78. Um, so in, in the couple of clippings, they talk about Lockhart playing really well for the Hamilton Tigers at the time. So this clipping over here, um, we see that does Lockhart try out for the New York Americans in October of 25? And we'll get back to that in a minute. So the next one, okay, here's a comparison. He's right there in the middle. He's 9-9-1, that's 500 win percentage. He's 2.58 goals against, and that's only five hundredths of a goal more than average. So he's basically an average goalie on uh, this, the Hamilton Tigers in that team. Now if we go on to the next. So this is from the 1925-26 season. We have a Jack Lockhart of the New York Americans right there. That's Howie Lockhart. So on November 23, 1925, team manager Tom Gorm announces Lockhart is one of the substitute. Lockhart never plays for the Americans, and Joe Ironstone plays one game for the team. So instead of calling up what wouldn't Lockhart play, they brought up Ironstone and played. The curious thing about this photo, uh, the photo in the legend is printed in the Nugget, which is the North Bay newspaper from where he is. So obviously they know that's Howie Lockhart, but they still keep it maybe because it was a uh, AP photo or something like that. He's still listed as Jack Lockhart. So I don't know why he doesn't get played. I don't know why his name's wrong. Um, there was one other name I saw that was wrong. And I don't remember. I, unfortunately, I didn't write it in my notes. But I don't know if they were trying to hide something. But I said North Bay should have got it right, their newspaper. All right, the next one. 
So if you go to hockey reference, um, there's usually a comparison of white uh, careers. So um, here's, here's guys on the list. There's people like, uh, there's Lockhart on top, and then there's Darren Payne. Uh, let's see, Ernie Wakeley's on there. Jim Carrey played for the Bruins is on there, and a few others. And I don't think any of we've ever heard any real bad nicknames for any of these guys. In October of 20, um, 2020, uh, 2003, Calvary uh, Herald publishes some bad guy you know, names. There's uh, Howard Lock, Paul's Lockhart, Steve the Puck, Golinski, Golinski, Marco Human Puck, the Funnel uh, Baron, and uh, like Norman Swiss cheese, the point. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> these were contemporary na names. I mean, I remember hearing some of them while they were still playing. Obviously, I'm not that old, and you know, when ha uh, Holes was playing, but anyways. So on this one, so where did this nickname come from? So and this is from Wikipedia. It's copy a lot. The nickname Holes is associated with Lockhart, but there's no uh, contemporaneous uses with the term of him. It appears it has been coined by the hockey writer Stan Fischler sometime in the 70s. So then there's a reference to that. And it was in uh, the Klein and Brief Hockey com uh, Companion. And I'm going to tell you can't read this, but basically the author of that book took some liberties and said it sounded like something that Stan Fischler might have put together. Um, so it says, oh, here it is. 20 years from now, Stan Fischler will see these stats and make up some time of nickname. So I went looking to see when uh, the name might have been started. So in the Boston Globe on November 15, 1948, Herb Ralby wrote, the teenage son of Holes Lockhart. So I posted that on the, uh, was the oldest one I could find. I posted that. And then Eric came back and found something from the Toronto Star from March 12, 1945. And that's this one right here. And it does reference Holes Lockhart. So that's the earliest I could find of that use of that nickname. So I'm not quite sure where it came from. Uh, and then my last slide, I probably went a little quick. But. So, the uh, base, um, the Nugget covered the, in October, no, sorry, August 1935 baseball game with Howard Gutty Lockhart. He's playing first base. Not the best picture of him, but that's him. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, it, it's, they had a different name for him. Now it could be from a baseball name. I don't know if they used it elsewhere. I, I looked for it and that was the only reference I could find for that one. Um, Gutty. G-U-T-T-Y? <clears throat> yeah, maybe a big gut, I don't know. Um, so it, he also played for the North Bay lacrosse uh, team as a goaltender. So he's involved in multiple sports. Are you read that he was such a stellar goalie that they called him five holes? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything in his military record about being shot? <laughs> no, I didn't see anything in there either. So um, it appears that it's uh, no a name that was made up after the fact, unlike some of those other guys, which we said, I, I remember hearing some of those other names, especially uh, those instant. In <laughs> yeah, so that one I remembered you know, right away. And then finally, he's buried up in uh, Toronto. He's at the uh, Mount Pleasant Cemetery in Toronto. That's his gravestone along with his wife. So I had any questions on this? Yes. How, how did you decide to... Uh dig into this topic. He doesn't say, is this, uh, are you making a case for the Hockey Hall of Fame for him? <laughs> no, no. I, I, I haven't written a book about it. They, you don't have a lot of information about him. Uh, I mean, I couldn't write a book and call, just say he's a Methodist. <laughs> but I, I don't know how I, I think I, 
it was because I saw the word holes one day. Okay. <laughs> and, was, you know, and of course, he played for the Bruins. Oh, yeah. Even though he was terrible. <laughs> uh, of course, all the goaltenders at that time were terrible for the Bruins. Oh, so you're going to put him in the Bruins hockey hall of fame. <laughs> no, I wouldn't put him in that either. But, uh, you know, it, if, you cut, if you come up and you haven't played in the year, and then you only have one and two games over the next three seasons. I don't know. I mean, two seasons. I don't know how they expect it at all. Uh, I don't know if he was playing somewhere else. Um, I would have expected. I did a pretty good search of, through North Bay, with multiple yeah. search uh, for the nugget. And uh, that was on newspapers.com. So I was glad, you know, they had that newspaper there. But there wasn't a lot. There was, there was more references to him playing baseball um, and some for cross and more for hockey, but you know the thing that got me that it was he was listed as Jack Lockhart. And, like, okay. They didn't pick it up on it. Good. Yes, I, I, I look at this thing, and uh, he didn't have a very good team in front of him. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. But uh, you see, it, it raises a, 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 an interesting article. People searches around who was a good boy and who wasn't, you know, and. I, how funny Jacques went down. He played for many years on a team. He had the offensive team that had the puck all the time, and the other teams didn't get it. Yeah. He had not a half bad defense. You know, he been the best he saw there for people. Right. But, you know, I think I might have won that. <laughs> <laughs> and you look at a guy like John Borges, and he said, Who's the hardest team he ever had to play for? He says, the Rangers, they're the ones that give the most fun. Yeah. You know, and some of the people, if you look at Gump's savings per game, because of both the thoughts, right? He was this best of winner. I mean, yeah. you know, that kind right. of stuff. But it's an interesting argument. I mean, uh, uh, maybe, maybe he was a good goalie. Maybe he was a pathetic goalie. Yeah. You know, but uh, when he appears that maybe he was, he was in a shooting gallery. Yeah. And he must have been doing something right. To be called up when he's not, you know, if he's really not playing in those years that, uh, well, a good goalie maybe not want to play for them. Well, that's true. true. <laughs> yes. So when he was playing in, uh, sorry. And when he was playing in the ca Canadian professional league, Brian, I'll get to you in a second. I mean, there was other guys who had pro experience. I mean, Charles Stewart, he was with the Bruins. Uh, Clarence Dawson, I'm not familiar with. Uh, Joe Ironstone, which we saw he, he did play for the Americans. I don't know how much he played, but there, there were guys in this league that were not bad. So, um, and it is a professional league, but again, it was just sort of average. So, <laughs> I'm not sure how the whole name got put in there. Yeah. Well, maybe he fell in one. That's how he hurt himself. Well, there's there's yeah. holes in his record. Yeah. <laughs> there's holes in his record. There you go. Right. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I don't know if we've got a, an amateur uh, expert in the house today, but it wouldn't surprise me if, uh, especially in the Southern Territory, you play pro, like you're not welcome. There wasn't really minor pro yeah. available there. So you may have almost been a league spare, uh, possibly there for. Yeah. Know, and, and maybe played under a different name. Yeah. Than ever. So he said, I don't know. I'm not quite sure why the Americans would call him Jack. <laughs> so, there was no suggestion that he played for the Cubs or Tigers and either of the other leagues that were active no. in Boston at the time because a lot of guys went back and forth. And yeah, no, one or two games. No, it, um, Boston called them up because uh, Doc Stewart got her injured. So they they brought him down from Toronto to play. They, they thought he was going to play the game before. But uh, he ended up did playing, but they, they knew they needed another goaltender. So, and again, with, with the number of goaltenders out there, I mean, it, it was only six regular goaltenders. You'd think they'd be able to find somebody else. So, I don't know if he was playing on the assumed name, but uh, it did a lot of searching for Lockhart and variations of it. Maybe he, he was a. Uh, overzealous bragger about his achievements, but when they checked, there were many holes in the school. <laughs> that could be true. <laughs> uh, the two games he played with the Browns, you know, where he, where he played them? Like Brian said, was he, were those games both against Toronto or something? And he oh, was I. Might have been in the stands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't. So I well didn't look up this. Yeah. I don't think I looked to see which. 
I do know he, like I said, straight. I know he played the first game and he played 30, I mean, he lost three to one against the Canadians. And they made 48 saves and uh, the Boston Papers said Lockhart was as good as uh, Stewart was. Stewart was out injured. But, you know, you have to take what for it's worth. I mean, Stewart was in the long run wasn't that good if you look at based on his record. So, but again, it's the team that's playing in front of you as well. Was he related to anybody? His son. I mean, did he have anybody in the family, in the organization that might have just said, hey, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then there were, uh, among the bullies that had a negative nickname was uh, Alfie Red Light West Coast. Oh, yeah, he was on the West yeah. Show. Oh, I, okay. I didn't hear you uh, say it. That's because I had no idea how to pronounce his last name, so I just skipped <laughs> over it. <laughs> Yeah. He's for, he was first on that list, actually. Actually, yeah, but this actually a, a, a very distant goal, uh, probably above average. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the nickname was given by a Montreal Gazette journalist who didn't like the fact that he took the job out of interview. Uh, so, that's a swing. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> so, uh, might have been talked so far. Yeah. Yeah. I was one of my friends at the time, so I missed that. Part. Yeah. James is a and who let in with three or four in the next How he Oh, yeah. Well, not really, he's really not that big. Five eight. He's five eight. So he's actually a cool. I actually looked this up. He's actually a quarter of an inch smaller than average at that in that year. So the average height was five eight and a quarter, and he's five eight. I don't know how much an average person could expand their chest other than no, two <laughs> inches. <laughs> yeah, James. I found stats for 13, 14, he's still playing in North Bay. Uh, it looks like Mercantile League. He's playing for the CBR. When did you find those? And he played they have the, newspapers on And all star uh, exhibition games, too. He's a little in all star. Oh, wow. North Bay all stars. But I can't find any for 14, 15. So. Oh, you found 13, 14, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't, I knew he played. Yeah. I have newspapers.com. Database, it wasn't. Well, it yeah. Was I don't know why. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> maybe you spelled Lockhart instead of I did. No, no, but it's notorious. Well, okay. Yeah. Everybody's going to go home and find out more about this guy. Yeah, but, well, that's what I'm hoping. That's the idea. I'd like, to, interest. I'd like to see if somebody could find an even old, older reference than. Uh, <laughs> Eric found for me, which he then was uh, 49, I think I said. So, well, you stay at home and you'll be able to do it. <laughs> yeah. Come back to well, us. Oh, 45. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that was uh, tomorrow. 20 years after he had played. Any other questions? Is he ever hurt my leg? <laughs> <laughs> he founded it. <laughs> All I know is he, he was. Yeah. So that's him. That was that was the only picture I could find of him playing baseball. But I put it on there because the nickname it did say Gutty. So they didn't call him. Home.